How you doing, fam bam? I know you're here because you want to figure out how to connect your VPN to your router. And it makes it just so much easier and you don't have to worry about opening the app as you see here, I use NordVPN, definitely one of the best ones out there and one of the fastest. Another one I also recommend is ExpressVPN. If you want to check out my recommendations of VPNs, just check down in the description box down below as I do have them. Now let's get straight into the router because I know that's what you're more interested in. You want to see how to set up your router for a VPN. So what I am using is an ASUS router. It is the ASUS ROG AXE 11000 Wi-Fi 6C, a awesome router. But if you have an ASUS router, it's going to be very similar to set up just as this. So we're going to go to ASUSrouter.com. So for me, I go to ASUSrouter.com and this is the exact router. You should have something that looks like this. So even if you're not using an ASUS router, you're using something else such as D-Link or Belkin or Netgear or any of those routers, it's gonna look practically the same thing. Most of the time, if you don't know your username and password, it's just gonna be simply admin and then type password. Or if your router is set by your service provider, make sure you check under it because usually that will locate your passcode and the username for that router. Especially if you're using a fiber optic network, you won't need to use a modem. Now, if you are on a cable network, you're gonna to have to use a modem and more than likely it's connected to a router, but you want to look for the username and password for that router. Anyway, assuming that you figured it out by now, I'm just gonna sign into my router here. Over here, you're gonna see on the side, uh, all these different options. What you want to go to is you want to go to VPN. Let's go over to the VPN Fusion side. Now, as you see, I've already created a profile here, but more than likely you might be connected to this connection right here. Now, this is the default connection for now, but in order to open this up, so what we're gonna do is you just click this plus button here on the server list, and we're gonna create a new connection. We'll call this NordVPN Taiwan. Since if you have a, another uh, VPN such as Surfshark, it'll already have the input. You just have to log in and put that private key in there. But if you don't, and you're using a different VPN such as a NordVPN, or if you're using ExpressVPN, I'm just gonna go over to OpenVPN. You're gonna have to log into your VPN's network. So let's go to NordVPN and we're gonna pull this up. I'll show you where you can find it. Go to NordVPN. And then from there, you're gonna go down to manual setup, set up my NordVPN manually. And then from here, you're gonna pick a server that you would like to use. For example, I'm gonna open up, since I opened up another server for my router, I'm gonna connect my router to say Taiwan. So if I was to connect it over to Taiwan, you just download these packets. So I'm gonna download this number 180 packet and typically what you would want to download is UDP. If you are preferably using it for streaming and gaming, I would choose UDP. If you prefer to use it for browsing, then you can download it, uh, then you can use TCP instead. But more than likely, you're probably gonna be okay with using UDP. So now we have that set, you're just gonna go back over to the ASUS router here. You're gonna import that open VPN that we just downloaded, which was over again from Taiwan. So let's see here, right here. Now, since that's completed, now we just have to put the username and the password. And that's going to be pretty easy to pull. The way we do that is we're just going to go over to the Nord account and you're just going to go over to the service credentials. Now it's going to ask you to verify your email just to make sure that your that no one's taken any information because this is very private stuff here, but this is going to be required for you to successfully connect to that VPN. So we're gonna ve verify the email. Now we are successfully in. Here you have your username, you're gonna copy it, and you're going to paste it over here. And then your password, you're also gonna copy it. And we're also gonna paste it there. 
Now you can choose to, the best part is since you are manually setting up your uh, VPN, your connection, you can choose specific devices if you want. You just click here and then we can just click the ones that we want want to connect to that VPN. But as you see, it's right now, as of now, it's pre-selected. So we'll just go ahead and do this and click OK. And click Apply and Enable. <coughs> now the router should restart. So let's give it a shot. Go on to google.com, just say. And there it is. That's how you know immediately that it has worked. Let's check out the IP address. And it thinks we are in Taipei, Taiwan. Perfect. Now, I hope you found this content very useful. If you didn't, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who's interested in using a VPN, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my X handle right here. And make sure you check out the newest Discord channel that I have. It would be fun to talk to you all. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to put it down in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.